panels, arms, doors, rims, and whatever it is, I mean, you can easily make a 10 grand damage on a lap. People might have the idea that the more you become professional, and that's the goal though, you are just a arrive and drive guy, okay? Well, that happens, and I've been an arrive and drive guy mm, a lot of times when I raced for other teams around the world. You then have to take care of a lot of things, even if you're arrive and drive guy, but at the same time, there is less hustle than being team owner, team director, and driver, which this is what I am actually doing in Triple F Drifting Department, because Triple F Drifting Department is my baby that I open with friends, and I want it to be as I want it to be. So I'm, of course, working on putting together the correct people, and there are people on board, okay? It's just that up to today, the responsibilities and the ideas and the directions that we are following are still all developed inside my mind. And so I'm trying my best to share this and give people directions. But what does a professional driver do? We have to give the impression, and not only the impression, to the sponsors that we are available, you can reach us when you want, and uh, we are ready for new ideas. This is one thing. The other thing is there is a logistic organization behind the transport, sending the staff around, that is pretty hilarious. The other one is that you have to also think how to not annoy your fans. And that's, I mean, what also other jobs have and have to take care of. But if you start becoming boring, you know, and you don't realize when you become boring, you get it when you already became boring. So you just have to anticipate a little bit the flows of what's around you. And of course, the fact of running a such a unique and creative project like Fiorella is also really demanding to give something more than everybody always. So that is what it makes it really challenging. So you have to also be careful to not arrive to the track really tired. Of course you can hire people to do exactly all the mentions I said. I probably am not still good enough in sharing on real time what's supposed to be done and I'm a little bit of an old school guy, so I get it done myself. The responsibility of being the team owner, team director is huge because it makes you see the car under other eyes than just being a driver, you know. That doesn't help sometimes in performing as you would like, but on other sides, it helps you to perform even more sharp because you have everything, little details completely under control. Being professional means realizing it's a job. Otherwise, it's a hobby. And huge respect to who does it as a hobby because there's some hobby drivers that do it as seriously and as well as a professional driver. It doesn't mean a professional driver is here, a hobby driver is here. Absolutely not. Actually, we need hobby drivers that bring oxygen to our world. So huge respect to all the hobby drivers. It's probably as demanding physically to be a hobby driver as a professional driver. So a message is there is a lot to do in the backstage. There is a lot to do that people don't see, but the taste, the vibe, the energy that it gives you at the end, jumping in the car and put it on the belts, put it on tight, tightening the helmet, 
and going to live the most awesome thing you want to do, it's priceless and it erases all the struggles that it takes to arrive there. So the hardest piece of the fact that I started completely from zero, I started with no support from my family. My dad dreamed that I would have worked for him and then I didn't. So he kind of went really upset. The most hard part was actually probably when I lost my mom at 21 and I had to think if I really wanted to go on in believing I could become a professional driver or not. Then this gave me the energy to do all the things I did until today. Going back, what was the most hard part of it? Where you go and knock at somebody's door and they look at you like a nobody asking for charity. That's one of the hardest parts. The other hard part is that there is a moment where it takes seven on seven, but you don't have the support to dedicate seven on seven. So it takes seven on seven days a week at the beginning. Also now, well, I work also now seven on seven on the project, to be honest. But at the beginning, it takes so much time. But unfortunately, maybe you don't have the finances to cover this time that you're dedicating to it. So it looks like you are in a black hole and you can't get out of it. When you think nothing is coming, that's the moment when things are coming, if you keep tight. I think that to run a full season, it's up to you how you want to run it. Because there are some fixed costs. So transport is there. Hotels, Airbnbs, whatever, food is there. Then you have to decide how many people to have with you. Then you have to decide how many spare parts you want with you. Then you have to decide how much testing you can do, how much time you can dedicate to that. And then there is the choreography, how much you want to invest in the choreography you got. So there isn't like a fixed budget to a Formula D season, but I think that probably minimum, you can't even think of starting it with less than 150,000. From that on, it has no roof, the budget. Because, as I said, you can invest and, you know, just hype up all your program as much as you want. U.S. is huge. And traveling around U.S. is uh, demanding for the trucks, for the drivers, you know, and all this. So that's where mainly uh, the concerns go on the travel cost. It is expensive because... You know, people say, well, traveling there, just, you know, with three, four grand, I can do a coast to coast journey. Yeah, but that's, you know, that's not finished. When you arrive on the other side, you got to take care of the whole team. You got to take care of also unpredicted stuff. Oh my God, that's a voice I have in my budget plan that is like big like this, unpredictions. And you never know what's going to happen. You never know. We, we have rough battles. We have like physical car battles. So let's say doing a door-to-door -door action that ends up on touching each other and colliding in each other between panels, arms, doors, rims, and whatever it is. I mean, you can easily make a 10 grand damage on a lap and come back with the car with four wheels running. I mean, it looks wrecked, but there is a 10 grand damage on it. So things can get really expensive in, in a shot. I would start having the basics covered because people always hunt for money, but I would hunt for the products that cost money to the team. Of course, we're gonna run on tires like air, fuel is there, you know, so find the basic support to make it cheaper. It's difficult, you'll find a, uh, fuel support on the highway from, from uh, the fuel stations or, you know, you won't pay toll gates or you won't pay the hotels where you're sleeping in, you know, but there are some things that you can cut out and that helps you to get started at least. Plus, yeah, Formula Drift is the maximum expression of our sport. 
So we're playing with big boys and manufacturers. So that's part of the game. Premier Financial Services makes it easier and more affordable than you could possibly imagine to own your dream car. Their simple lease is one of the most powerful tools in the world of exotic car financing. You get all the benefits like the tax savings and the low payments of a lease with all the additional benefits that you'd normally find in a traditional finance arrangement. You can build up equity, you can pay it off early, you can trade in and out of cars because you get a very clear and easy to understand amortization table to understand what your payoff will be any month throughout your term. And all the while, the amazing team from Premier Financial Services Will be right there to help you along the way. They've been supporters of the VinWiki channel now for five years in a row, so we can't thank them enough for that, but mostly we're thankful for the fact that they can help you make it easier than ever to own your dream car. Check them out now.